Today we're going to sketch the Golden Gate Bridge and it's significant to me because one of my two sons lives in San Francisco. He's transferred out there, got a job at uh, Facebook or Meta today, they call it, and it's not New Jersey anymore. He's living over in sunny California. A lot of rain there, I guess, too. But let's sketch the Golden Gate Bridge today. So we're gonna start off the horizontal line or horizon line is really kind of flat. And then we're gonna look and see where all those uh, towers are. And I'm, I'm seeing actually three towers. There's that one on the far left, the one in the middle, the big one, and then also the little boxy thing on the right. And so that's how I'm kind of laying it out on the paper, making sure that it all fits right. I'm using a Tombow pen and I'm using the fine side of it. The other side is a paint brush and, uh, or a felt tip paint pen. And um, I'm using the, the fine line in order to lightly lay out just the overall composition. And it's a water base uh, pen. And so I'm able to just kind of paint over it. So I'm not really worried about any lines that I'm not going to use later on because it's going to get washed away with the, with the watercolor when we get into that phase of putting in the color. Once this is done, I'm going to go back with a waterproof paint, uh, waterproof pen and just kind of trace over some of these Tombow lines, the ones I want to keep. And that'll be the actual bones of this coloring book that we're creating with pen and ink. Here I go. I'm starting using that watercolor, I'm sorry, the waterproof type of pen. And that one is a 0.01. It's really fine. And later on, I'll use a 0.05 just to kind of give some edges to spark and, and to pop out. But that'll be one of the very last uh, phases that I'm going through. When you're doing arcs and things like that, kind of keep part of your hand posted on the paper and just swing about that, just like you would if you were using a compass to draw a circle. Hey, be sure to subscribe to this channel so we can share together some urban sketching techniques.
One of the things about the Golden Gate Bridge that stands out to me are all the cross bracings and all the triangles that are in there. I find that to be really fascinating. It gives depth, it gives texture. It's not just the verticality of those stanchions holding the suspension. It's actually those intricate things that it's along the horizon and horizon line and also the um, in that boxy area too. So I find a little bit of interest in that. So I added a little bit of time drawing in a little bit more of that structure. Now let's add a little bit of color. I'm going to use a cadmium red for the stanchions of this um, Golden Gate Bridge. It's kind of the same color and that's, it really works well with the contrast. I'm also going to use the ultramarine blue so that complementary color will kind of give it some pop. I'm looking forward to adding those two colors together in this picture. I'm using a rigger, kind of like a pen, just to bring that cadmium red all the way up that suspension rod. Now adding a little bit of blue kind of gives it some depth into the greens. I created that green with the mixture of the blue and uh, some of the uh, yellow and that gave it a little bit of a kind of a growy look. Also little speckles here kind of gives it some texture and it makes it a little bit more fun. Now I'm going to just wash all the uh, area where it's going to be water. I'm really putting water in that area so that I can do a wet over wet with a lighter blue just to uh, designate where the water is underneath this bridge. I can use this blue over the orange after the orange has dried a bit because I'm trying to avoid cauliflowering. And using the blue over the orange kind of gives it a little bit of depth. I'll later use a Tombow uh, using the grays of the Tombow and also to give some depth. But I thought it'd be nice to kind of put in some blues and complementary color to that uh, cadmium red, which is kind of orangey. And uh, that might actually give some interest.
Now I'm going to use the Tombow in order to give it a little bit more shades and shadows. The Tombow, because it's water-based, it's kind of blending in with the watercolor, which I kind of like too, because it gives it a little bit more of a softer type of uh, transition from color to gray type of uh, shading. Now I'm using a 0.05 pen just to show the edges of some of the key parts of the, of the painting. Not everywhere, but just some of the, where I want more of a crisp edge and separating it from other parts, even though separating it from the white part of the paper. Going back with a, a smaller .01 pen and adding more of those triangle sculptures in that boxy support that's at the foot of the bridge. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up and share with me some comments down below about some of the techniques you've used in order to do an overall expansive scene like this one. I'll see you in the next video.